Game's gonna be mine. Hey, uh, sorry to interrupt. Not now, dickhead. Can't you see I'm in the middle of something? It won't take long, promise. Ah, I lost again. See what you did? No, I'm pretty sure you just have awful luck. The shit did you say? Let's take this outside, pal. You're gonna pay. On a roll. Time to go all in. Hey, sorry to interrupt. Uh, you there? What? I need cash. A hundred grand will do the trick. A hundred grand? Look, man, I'm riding a wave of good luck here. I'm about to make some serious bank. Yeah, I'm not letting you gamble with my money. Then I don't want to talk to you. Get the hell away from me. Fucking shit, look at the ass on her. Hey, uh, sorry to interrupt. Hmm? What do you want? Know anywhere around here a guy can play some Chohan? Chohan, huh? Yeah, I think there's a joint in the Champion District. Heard their exclusive is all fuck. You actually know a place? Could you maybe tell me the name? Hmm, I could. Sure, but... But what? Check her out. That chick's got the goods, right? Uh, sure. I guess she's got... goods? What's your point? I want to have a drink with her. Can you make introductions for me? I have to be your wingman? Good-looking guy like you's got a better chance of sealing the deal, right? I mean, look at me. Ugh, oh, I can't believe this. You better tell me if I do this for you. Of course, man! <laughs> Mind if I join you? Please, take a seat. You come here often? You bet. There's three things I love in life. Stiff drinks, risky bets, and handsome men. Oh yeah? Just once. I want someone to seduce me like they do in the movies. Uh, okay. Can I buy you a drink? Make it a martini. A gambling woman's drink. Let me guess. Vodka martini. Shaken, not stirred. <laughs> right you are. You're a bigger movie buff than I expected. Mind if I buy you one? My friend will probably want to join us too. Oh, you only want to drink? Uh, huh? I just told you I'm in the gambling mood. So, what do you say? We spice things up a bit. Here's the deal. I'll drink with you, if you beat me at poker. Okay, it's a deal.
Well, are you ready? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> oh, this should be good. Seems I won. That's life. You win some, you lose some. Well, what a good sport. You know the game pretty well. Bet you never lose too big, huh? <laughs> There's something of an art to it, isn't there? What a team you and I would make. All right. I'll join you for this drink. Really? Great. Let me grab my friend. Hey, why are you the one having all the fun? She agreed to drink with us after a game. Now go grab some seats. Wait, seriously? Ha, I owe you for this, man! You're damn right you do. I need to know where I can play Chohan, remember? Oh, yeah. It's in the Champion District. Only shop without a sign. You can't miss it. Bar with no sign. Knock on the shutter three times, and they'll ask you what you want. You respond with the password, Can I talk to Moon? Knock three times, then the password. Next, they'll say he says he wants the steak, to which you respond, Chateaubriand, blue. And that's it. Joints underground, but clearly that ain't a problem for you. Thanks. That's a huge help. Now let's get drinking. Actually, I think I'm gonna have to pass. I need to go. You're lost, pal. An ass like that is a once-in-a-lifetime deal. Oh yeah, she likes vodka martinis. Order it shaken, not stirred. The hell's that supposed to mean? Yo. Kaito-san. Sugiura told me you'd be here. So, you find out where Hamura is? Yep. A gambling hall in the Champion District. Really? Where at? Apparently the only store without a sign. They've got the club set up underground. Huh, fancy. By the way, Talk, what happens when you find Hamura? The first thing I'm gonna do is vent. After everything he's done, he deserves it. If I'm honest, I'd take more joy in seeing him squirm than finding the mole right about now. <laughs> Glad we're on the same page. Let's go. Yo, hold up. Hmm? I don't see a sign anywhere. This where we get in the gambling hall? Where'd you go? What do you want?
Can I talk to Moon? He says he wants steak. Pick one for him. Chateaubriand, blue. Thank you for your order. Enjoy your meal. Nice going, Doc. <sighs> I could go for a steak now. Exactly an easy man to find. Shit. Ozaki. <laughs> Again, huh? Ready, talk? Huh? <gasps> 
done yet? Or do you want me to keep hitting you? Oh, fuck you! You hired the thief that stole the money from the office that day. It was all just a setup, wasn't it, Hamura? What, memories of looting ya? But it's all water under the bridge, isn't it? Now that I can do this. What about the mole? Everything he does is under your command, huh? How many people has the mole murdered? All those Kyore guys? Shintani? No way those are the only ones. Shintani, before he got murdered, was so sure the mole wasn't part of some Yakuza war. He wouldn't have said that without information to support it. And so, you had to silence him. Made the mole use Ayabe's gun to hide the trail. Like hell I did. Shintani knew your secret. He knew the mole murders were linked to the ADDC. All this comes right back to 89, doesn't it? Shove it up your ass! Now hands off, or I'm gonna fucking kill you! You seriously never listen, huh? Hamura. The center's director, Kido. Is he the one who's behind all this carnage? Is it Kido? Is that not right? <laughs> Start talking quick, asshole. Not feeling it, huh? Then how about I kill you right here? Kaito san! <laughs> Kido's not our guy. <laughs> And the phone call, when Shintani tried to reach the center. He wasn't trying to talk to Director Kido at all. It does seem we received a phone call from this Shintani-san you speak of. Do you know who he was calling? Dr. Shona. Hashiki too. He was trying to get information out of Shono until someone got to him. So the one I want... It's Shono, huh? Right, Hamura? Hey! Fire! Fire! Guess someone's got it out for us, huh, Talk? Captain! Kaito-san! Like his shithead boys took him out of here. <sighs> Holy hell. I'm just glad we're still alive. The Mole was Hamura's personal underworld assassin. 
with a mounting threat behind them. Yagami and Kaito are forced to cut ties with Matsugane. And the two set foot down a path of no return. Finally, the name of a mastermind bubbles to the surface. The man is an AD-9 researcher, Yoji Shono. Smoke continues to billow out of the Champion District fire as we speak. The apparent cause is a small explosion which took place in a covert gambling hall not long ago. Eyewitnesses claim they heard the sound of explosives being detonated in the establishment. However, the building was deserted by the time firefighters and police arrived on the scene. With the horror of gang violence still fresh in our minds, the incident only raises tension across the city. Sounds like the plan didn't go so well. They were desperate. Still, we did manage to talk to Hamra. Which is how you found out Shona was the one giving him orders, right? Not Director Kido. Yeah, at least that's a look he was giving us. You can tell that just from a look? Give me a break. I don't know how else to put it. Well, I guess that look is all we have to go off. Hey, did you come to taunt me or help me? <laughs> don't be mean, Yagami-san. Of course I came to help. Help how? I found someone who's an expert on AD-9. Looking into that research paper might be our best shot at finding more leads. And I don't know about you, but I can't understand a word of what it says. Yeah, same. But I found somebody who can. I'm impressed. Good work, Hoshino-kun. Just... don't get mad, okay? Mad? Why would I get mad? Well, the expert I found? It's Hattori-san, the journalist you kind of hate. What? Please, he's written a lot of articles on 89 and has interviewed all the top medical researchers. That guy? Seriously? This has got to be some kind of joke. He said he'd tell us what we want to know, if you asked him nicely. Yeah, you know what? Let's drop it. I don't care about the paper. <laughs> Yagami-san. What? That research could contain vital information for this case we're building. This isn't an opportunity we can afford to miss. But if we ask him for help now, he's gonna want something in return later. Hattori-san's waiting for you at Kyushu Number 1 Star. Apparently, he's doing a story on them. Come on, Yagami-san. Get going. <laughs> 